Hello again, it's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. And here we are in part four of our eight-part series we're calling Basic Training for Vegas Movie Studio Platinum. Well, we have a new project here. We have media in the project media panel. And now it's time to start building our movie. And building your movie in Vegas Movie Studio Platinum is fairly simple. You simply drag the clips from project media to your timeline. As you do, you may get an indicator saying that your project settings don't quite match the video itself. Would you like the program to automatically reset your project setting to match your video? I usually recommend you do this, and I'm going to do that. You'll always get the best performance if the media in your project is matched by your project settings, and it's nice that the program does that automatically. To zoom in and out of your timeline, uh, you can use the up and down arrow. If you select, make sure the workspace area of the timeline is selected, and you can use the up and down arrow on your keyboard to zoom in and out. Uh, likewise, you can zoom in and out using the roller on your mouse. Let's add another clip here to the end. Maybe we'll even uh, spread out our audio here a little bit and add yet another clip above. Uh, once you've added your media to your timeline, you can trim it. Trimming it means removing from the beginning or the end of the clip. To trim, you simply hover your mouse over the end of the event on your timeline. So I want to trim from the clip here on the, or the event on the left. So I drag it and I've taken off some of the length of that clip. I've removed from the end of it. Likewise, of course, I can remove from the beginning of it. One thing you'll notice is that as I'm removing parts of the clip here or the event by dragging or by trimming on it, you notice that the other clips are moving in and out. So as I remove or trim away part of the end of this clip, the clips to the right are moving to fill in the gap. And likewise, if I were to untrim or to, to uh, lengthen this clip, the clips to the right are moving off to the right to allow me to do that. And that's something called the auto ripple. And I do an entire tutorial on auto ripple because it can be a little bit complicated. But the basic principle to auto ripple is that when it's turned on, any removal of clips or events from your timeline, for instance, if I were to select and delete this entire event, will be filled in. If I were to insert a, a clip to the timeline or add an event, by dragging it down here to the timeline, the clips to the right will move aside to allow for it. And that's kind of my default setting for it. The settings for Auto Ripple are right down here on the bottom of the timeline, right here. If I turn it Auto Ripple off, you notice that if I were to remove an event from my timeline like this, that the other clips don't move. Control Z to undo that. Likewise, if I were to trim it, the other events on the timeline don't move in to fill the gap. Likewise, though, if I were to remove this event and move these other events in and then replace it with an event, it would actually overwrite some of what's on the timeline. So sometimes you want Auto Ripple turned on and sometimes you want it turned off. I usually keep it on most of the time, except when I don't want it to be on. It's kind of complicated to explain. and That's why it's its own tutorial. But basically, that's it. When it's on, the other events move. When it's off, the other events stay where they are. Turn it back on. One other thing you can do aside from trimming from either end of an event on your timeline is to actually split it in half. To do that, you just click to position your playhead where you'd like it to be. Right here, for instance, select the clip that you want to slice. Come down here to the bottom of the timeline and click on the split or just use the S on your keyboard and it slices that particular event in half and now you can remove the half that was sliced away. Uh, one nice feature, control Z, one nice feature that's been added to Vegas Movie Studio 15 is the ability to heal a split. In other words, if I'm editing and I later decide I don't really want a split to be here, I can select both of the uh, elements or both of the events that made up that split, right click, and I have the option to heal the event which makes the split go away. A cool new feature here in version 15. Anyway, let's look at some more complicated things. We'll mix some audio and we'll add some effects here in the next couple of sessions, basic training with Movie Studio Platinum. I'm Steve Rossetti. Thanks for joining me.